park here? Because there was nowhere else to go when I went in. I there are over plenty there. of parking spaces over there, and you're getting loud you're with me. You write me a damn ticket, then. I will. Fucking bitch. You little ego, too high for that little fit you got on. Yeah. Okay. What is your deal? You Damn bro, it already got heated. You are in a parking spot that if there was a fire in this liquor bro, store right now, I don't there. give it a wasn't crap. It was fucking five minutes, bro. I don't care. You're breaking the law. Yeah, you're mad about it because your ego's too fucking high. I have no ego. You know what I came yeah, here to do? I came here to simply go get a lunch. That's all I came here for. I don't gotta listen to shit you say. That's fine. Do me a favor, roll down your front and back windows, can't please. Do that, buddy. Yeah, you can. You want driving? When you get us the ticket, it's for sitting still, isn't it? Nope. I can go ahead and check this too. Oh my right, where did you get your law degree from? Uh, what was that? Where did you get your law degree from? Huh? Your law degree? Did you get one? Oh. Okay. Come on, you can't be serious. Yeah, that's what I think so. Business, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll the windows down for me, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Wait for it. Go fuck yourself. You know that. It only gets more wild from here. Now you're disturbing the beast. Bro, that's all there is. You're mad. You have no right to arrest me right now. For talking to another person right across from him, does the officer have the right to put handcuffs on him? For You're what? disturbing the peace right How now. How is that? I have all these people right now. Looks like the only one causing a disturbance is the cop. He points to everyone only there's hardly anyone there. As a matter of fact, there is no complainant to say they felt threatened. The cop can't be the complainant. He'll realize this soon as you'll see him go around looking for one short. for fucking walking up on your traffic stop then, huh? Oh, that's He's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah. I thought. For a person face full of cement, he really can't keep his mouth shut. A few moments after he finally picks him off the ground, fully handcuffed, and then brings him near his patrol vehicle. He also radios for backup and this is what he says towards the arriving officer on the scene. Yeah, I just had to, I just had to drop this fool over here. Started out as an illegal parking. 11 Alpha Agency Central. I have an adult male 1015. So, started out as illegal parking. He's causing and a ruckus out here. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. He's not saying, you know, uh, too much to people that are going by. Somebody's walking by, and as they're walking by, he's telling them you need to chill the fuck out. And then he starts yelling and screaming, causing a ruckus over here. So he's got all these people that are going into the store that are all just stopped. So we got disturbing. I got I got him for disturbing. Peace. Disor yeah, he's disorderly. Yeah. He's the owner of the truck, but he was the one that was driving. So I was just writing him citations for his mm -hmm. tent, the parking, and no insurance. And then he wanted to run his mouth to people that, that were out here. How about you? Yeah. So. Yeah. Juvenile? Say it. Juvenile? No. I need to see if I can get some video footage from you okay. guys from just a few minutes ago, right? Is there cameras right here in front of the store? I'm not sure. I can get a manager for you. Okay. Where are you going? I'm knocking my head on the thing to turn some AC on. It's hot in here. You got me putting you. He put his cuffs on as tight as he can because he's mad. Lower your voice. Oh, no. He Lord has been like this the entire hey, time. Just, please, the please, the please, whole please, time he has been disrespectful, not, bit, absolutely not, bratty, please. and it's absolutely please. ridiculous. Bro, All he had to do not, was simply abide by what I was saying. He's parked yeah, in a fire lane. Yeah. I said, I need your license, registration, You're proof of insurance, and immediately that's when the attitude kicked off. nothing on me, dude. Bryson. Besides a ticket. Make it, make it Go get the foot of him slamming on my head. Go get that shit. I did laugh. slam you on your head. Why? Because you were mouthing off to a, a really? citizen so that was walking in. You're telling me a citizen's allowed to walk up to the traffic stop and start cussing me out? A yes citizen no. can walk yes by here no. and say whatever. It's freedom of speech. So I can say whatever I want back. 
Yes or no? No, you are actually causing a so disturbance. So you're saying I'm not allowed to cuss back, but you, you are causing a disturbance. Your voice, bro. Okay, just answer my question. Yes or no? Did he walk up and start cussing me out? I wasn't here. I'm asking him. Is someone allowed to cuss you out? But when you try to cuss them back, you're the one that gets arrested. Is that fair? Were you a witness? Did you see what happened? I didn't Could you pull over here for a moment and fill out a sworn written statement for no, me? No, I don't want a ticket. You're not going to get a ticket. Just pull up here and I'll... Or park over here and, and uh, I just need to get your ID real quick. Right, if you could do me a favor real quick, ma'am. Pull up in a and I saw him park in the So, just put your name. Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll give me one second. Your address, your age, birthday, telephone number. If you have an email, you put an email there. Start with your name here and tell me exactly what you saw. Okay. I mean, you can sit in your car and do it, okay? Okay. So let me give you a rundown. So he pulled up here. I was just coming here to grab lunch. I parked over here. He pulls up. He sees me. He even said on body camera that I knew you were going to do this to me when I saw you. Mm -hmm. So he pulls up here, doesn't move his car. I pull my car back over here. I thought maybe somebody was inside. I'm tapping on the window. Nobody's in there. So I go inside. Trying to make an announcement over the loudspeaker to have someone move their car. He comes up to me, he's like, It's my car, I'll fucking move it right now. So he comes out, um, I, and he immediately starts giving me attitude. Just attitude, attitude, attitude. So I start writing him citations. Okay. I wrote him a citation for the parking, I wrote him a citation for the tent on his window because he's got uh, a legal tent, and then I wrote him for no uh, proof of insurance. Mm -hmm. Before I even had a chance to write uh, for the uh, uh, or hand him the citations. He started mouthing off to a, a customer that was going inside because the customer was like, you need to chill the fuck out and, and, and calm down. Now there's three other people, including this lady here, who witnessed the entire thing. She said that uh, he was acting like a complete and told asshole. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I took him down to the ground because he was you know, walking towards that, that other uh, customer. So, um, so what he's, his charges are today is going to be disorderly conduct. Okay, he's going to go to jail for that. Um, he'll, it's the weekend, so he won't have first appearance. He'll have that first uh, first thing Monday. He will have a bond. Okay, the bond is five hundred dollars, and uh, that's ten percent uh, of that, so fifty bucks. So he, he can be bonded out. Um, but what do the, I do all that? you have to go down to the courthouse. Is this or not courthouse? I'm sorry, the jail, uh, which is in Daytona. Okay. Okay. So um, you know, at this point, I'm not trying to be rude. He's an adult, so uh, you guys are free to go, and um, you know. I'm going to go ahead and transport him back to the police department and do my paperwork, and then you know, he'll, he'll be able to call you. Uh, when he's when he can get out? Yeah, and if he, if he cooperates, I will let him make a phone call from my cell phone, okay? Okay, I just, if he chills out and okay. stops acting yeah. like he's been acting, I'm, I usually let someone do that, let them call before they go to the jail, okay? okay? So... If you want to let him know that, I'll I'll let him do that. But so, but oh, I'm sorry. No. I, you know I sh she's okay, upset no and I. Billy, you, know, you want to ride with me? Okay. So. It's okay. Which one of you can drive? Me. Okay. Okay. So, so are you okay to drive this? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just he um, just didn't want me driving it because it was like his boat and everything. I get it. I understand. So here's the thing. Um, if you want, you guys can go ahead and and leave because you're free to go. Okay. Okay. Uh, he is not, and I'm going to be explaining to mom exactly what's going on right now. Right. But And your girlfriend? I'm the girlfriend. His girl, okay. Yes. Okay, so here's the thing, okay? I want to explain something up? to you. Yeah, you can okay. stand up. Yeah, you guys don't have to sit down. I thought you were just doing it to be comfortable. No, he told us to sit down. Sit down. So Who did? The, uh, okay, no, fine. you're fine, you're fine. So here's the thing. Due to the fact of how he was acting out here with witnesses and things like that, I have an independent witness that saw the whole thing, okay? That's disorderly conduct. It's an arrestable offense. Oh, yeah. If he would have just simply just stayed Shut quiet, yeah. like you were telling him, yeah. and I appreciate you for what you're trying to do, but if he would have just shut his mouth and not spoke to that person that was walking by and causing a spectacle in front of everybody, he would just be getting some citations and you guys would be enjoying your boat day. Okay? So, that's what we have right now. That's what's going to go on, but you guys are good to go. Okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to go see if I can. All right, you're good. Sorry. Appreciate it. Thank you.